This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So, the um, vast majority of what comes out of this area is carpet, flooring product, and then um, depending on where you're landing, uh, most of like our solo people are bringing back potatoes, onions, carrots. Um, we don't do any like frozen chicken or anything like that. Um, and then if you go all the way out to the coast, like for our teams, they're bringing back apples and whatever kind of produce. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Story Trucking Company out of Alabama. Bama. Yes, sir. If you guys are interested in story trucking, the information will be in the description below. This trucking company has been doing business for over 50 years and they have leading industry equipment, driver first company culture, and a preferred rest coast routes. I never heard of this company. Did what is story story? How long you guys been been in existence? Uh, been in business since about sixty seven, I believe, is when we when it originated. So, oh, okay, um, okay, quite a while here in the southeast. Where exactly are you located? Are you in the southeast area? No, 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 no. I'm I'm out of Ohio, and I'm looking. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's why I was looking. I went. I decided to go to the website, and I see that majority of your lanes covers the 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 east coast. Uh, no, so we run Midwest and uh, oh, yeah. West Coast. Oh, y'all do run Midwest. Okay, I c I could have sworn that it said that y'all don't do no Midwest, but awesome so that yes, we don't so, do any east coast so that may have been where you got confused we don't do anything on the east coast side i mean not the east you know what my fault you're right i am confused west coast west coast everything on the on the on the west coast um okay awesome awesome all right um all right so what so drive in uh reefer what what, what we hauling yeah, so we all our trailers we run um, <clears throat> utility R's, three thousand R's, thermic kings on them. So typically, how it runs for us is coming out of the southeast, we're running um, dry loads. We're still loading those reefer trailers. So you got a dry load going out, and then you've got a reefer load coming back in. Um, so um, vast majority of what comes out of this area is carpet, flooring product, and then um, depending on where you're landing. Uh, most of like our solo people are bringing back potatoes, onions, carrots. Um, we don't do any like frozen chicken or anything like that. Um, and then if you go all the way out to the coast, like for our teams, they're bringing back apples and whatever kind of produce is in season. They're kind of following that, um, following that season and, and bringing back what's what's coming about from there. Okay. Now, being that I am from Ohio, am, am, am I able to, uh, am I hireable? Let's start with that. Yes, sir. I, to be completely honest on that one, when he told me that, and I was like, Dad, government, I wish that, <laughs> wish you were in this area because we keep our trucks on the yard. Um, so I mean, that I know that wouldn't that wouldn't work for you from where you are. The reason why we do that is because um, we're we're everybody's home on a weekly basis with how we run. So people come in and get their resets um, while they're getting their reset, and we're getting that truck serviced and making sure anything fixed is fixed so that when their resets up and they're ready to roll back out again, that truck's ready for them. Now, now let me ask you this: If if I am able, let, let's just say hypothetically that you know that I right. that I'm interested to come, you know, to come down there, would would you guys be able to like get me a flight home and get me a flight back, even though I, I, even if I had to leave my truck there? Uh, I mean, to be honest, we wouldn't we wouldn't do that one just because everybody here that we have is just in this this radius. Um, like within our yards because we don't ever um we haven't ever done that one in the past and we just kind of just keep our hiring radius the way it is so that we to be honest with you so that we don't have to worry about um getting all that for people and making sure we, we're getting you home on a, on a consistent schedule and stuff like that kind of adds an extra mix into it because we're a smaller company i mean we've got like 130 trucks and we've got 15 people on the inside of it that's kind of running everything um, so I mean, it's a it's a smaller feel. It's a kind of still that family-owned side, um, 
But I mean, if you were to ever relocate and come down this way, definitely keep us in mind. And I mean, I do everything I could to get you in with us. But let me ask you this: How, how about how, yeah. how about relocation? Would you would you guys be able to help me with that? Um, that'd be something I'd have to ask management and see, because I would definitely be above my pay grade on it. Um, because I haven't had anybody ask me on that one, but I mean, okay. I'd be willing to ask it and see. All right, so for people that so okay, so let's just concentrate for the people that 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 is in the area. That's like what Alabama, right? You you guys are. Like, uh, so we got our main terminals in Henniger, which is northeast Alabama, and then I actually work out of our Chattanooga, Tennessee location. So we got two offices now. Um, so we're capturing everybody in like <clears throat> Huntsville, basically Birmingham up. Birmingham's kind of like the farthest, the furthest that um, one of our current current people work for us current drivers um tennessee we've got some kind of a little bit south of nashville and then a little south of knoxville and then everything in northern georgia okay okay how much experience you guys are looking for uh we require one year of over the road minimum um and obviously the more the better on that front okay so for for guys that's coming out of school that will be a negative for them Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's just based solely on our, our insurance policy that we have. They, they require a year of over the road. Okay. W, W2, of course. So what type of benefits can you offer? Uh, so we've got medical dental vision. Uh, we've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield uh, for our insurance of Alabama. We've got a 401k at a year, short-term disabilities covered at a year. Um, you get a pay increase at a year, and then you get a... Uh, we operate off a no force dispatch model. So um, you don't have somebody sitting there telling you when, when you've got to go out kind of at your leisure. Um, and we're, most of the people are running after the resets up or two day, two to three days, typically what everybody does here. And then at your year, you also get a, um, because we operate off no force dispatch, we kind of built out this past year, like a vacation slash um, 10 year payout. And it's just a, an average of what you made the previous year um, at a daily rate. So kind of like the example I always use is if you earned 70,000 on your gross um, <clears throat> for say 2021, and then you divide that out by the year, so 365 on the days, and then um, you multiply it by five, so that comes out to be a 958. So it's a little less than $1,000, and you get that every anniversary. So if you work more, you get more on your anniversary payout. If it's less, it's going to be a little lower. Awesome. Um, and you awesome. get that every year. Awesome. All right. Uh, I know I didn't ask, which sometimes is not a big deal to me, though, but what's the starting What's the starting CPM? And is it different between so, driving? Well, you say it's reefer, so is it different yes. or is it the same? It's the same. So everybody that we have here, um, whether you've been here, the only thing that changes the pay for us is your tenure with uh, with like with our company. So I mean, we've got people that have been here 15, 20 years, and we've got people that have been here two to five and then new hires as well. Uh, what it starts out is on the solo side is it's a 40 cent base for the solo, and you get a four cent mileage bonus if you hit over 12,000 miles in a month which from the routes we run, like I said, we'd run Denver, our, our solar lanes run Denver and then Salt Lake. Um, so you're looking at four Denver runs in the month and three Salt Lake runs in the month. And everything we do is just out and back. So you're going right out there, turning around and coming right back um, to get that 12,000. And then you're getting that uh, mileage bonus check each month. So kind awesome. of the annual basis, what you're looking at is um, if you're a 10,000 mile average, it's 50,000 for the year. Um, if you're 12,000, um, if you average 12,000 miles for the year, you're at 63, 360. Um, and that's in your first year. And then it's 60, it's like right at 67 after you've been here a year, if you average the same. Awesome. Um, we're not a company that shuts people down on miles. So, I mean, if you're wanting to run, you're going to have something to run. We've got one, and I know everybody's different. Everybody's kind of got different things of what they're wanting to do. So we've got one gentleman, uh, his name's Larry, and I mean, as soon as his 34 is up, he's ready to roll. He's been getting, last year, I think he got like 16, 16, five miles in a month. Um, 
I mean, like I said, granted, he's out there burning it up. I mean, everything we do is on the legal side, too. It's e-logs. I mean, he's not fudging anything, but that just kind of goes to show, like, if somebody's wanting to run, the miles are there. The miles, um, so the miles, so the miles are there with you guys. So it's just a matter of me uh, making the pim- pilgrimage down there to you. That's that's what's up, man. Uh, what about the equipment? What, what what the equipment that I'll be running and what's that governing that? Uh, equipment wise, we run Freightliner Cascadias. We do have a couple of Peterbilts. So they're just brand new, so kind of like the way our um, our system set up is like when we get a new truck, it goes to our teams. Our teams run them for about a year or less, just depending on how many miles they put on them. Then they go to our solos, um, and then from a solo, it goes to a local truck. And then we're selling those trucks out after our locals got them and uh, keeping our fleet updated. Um, I think the oldest truck we've got right now, we just ended up selling. Then we just sold one of our last few 18s we have. So everything's um, either a newer model, 18, 19, 20, or a 21. We do have some 22s in there as well. So typically about three years is how long we keep the truck. Once it hits around six, 700,000 miles, we're phasing it out and getting new equipment in. All right, all um, right. So there are Cascadias, Freightliner, or Freightliner Cascadias, um, onboard inverter, refrigerators in the truck. They're governed at 70 on the foot and 72 on cruise. Cameras facing uh, drivers. Uh, no, sir. We do have forward facing cameras. Um, nothing dri- nothing inward cab facing, though. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, are you one of those companies that's, that offer a sign on bonus? Yes, sir. Uh, for solo, it's $1,500 sign on bonus. Um, the big thing that we got rolling right now is referral bonuses. So, like, I know you said you spoke with one of our drivers, uh, you spoke with somebody that we currently have here. Um, if you refer somebody to us, it's a, um, depending on the position that they are, then you get a, a sign-on bonus for that one, or a referral bonus, rather, I'm sorry. Um, so if you referred a somebody on a solo position, you're looking at, it's $800, I believe, is what that referral is, and that's purely just them calling in and telling me that, Hey, I spoke with LaShawn, told me to give you all a call. Uh, if I get you on board or forget them on boarded, then you're getting that payout. It pays out um, $300 after 30 days, and then the remainder gets paid out six months. And the awesome. big one for us right now is teams. If you refer a team to us, it's a $7,500 payout. Um, awesome. Awesome. All right. So, well, hey, listen, man, thank you very much. This is a lot to uh, to digest and everything. Yeah, I know. I throw a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to digest, but definitely I will, I will like I said, I, I, I will also pass this along to my uh, network of friends as well. Uh, but let me ask you this, last question. Um, yes, sir, yes, sir. Of course, you know, we're, we we are tied to the FMCSA uh, clearinghouse, and for whatever reason, you know, some drivers got some scrimmage. Do you guys do you guys uh, have a have a higher drivers out of the SAP program or SAP uh, SAP graduates? Um, that's kind of a case by case thing. I will say that we have done a couple of people that have been through that, um, but it's it's at that point it's the safety's call. Um, so it's if it's just that, like just on there, then. I would say it wouldn't a hundred percent knock you out of it, but it say if somebody was graduated the SAP and then they had tickets or failure to appear or anything else, like any kind of out of service issues on PSP or MBR, then it definitely doesn't build the case from our standpoint at all. All right, very good. Well, brother man, thank you very much. I do appreciate the call back, and uh, yes, I would de- I would definitely keep the card. Uh, if any, if anything should change with me or something like that, if I happen to come in the area or something like that, I'll definitely look you guys back up. Gotcha. Okay, I just want to give them a shout and tell them thank you for for referring somebody over. I always try and loop back around with people whenever I get a call in from somebody. No doubt, no doubt. But I, I will definitely pass the information along with uh, you know, with your phone number and everything. If anybody else is interested. And coming in because you know I'm a I'm a, a curator of a Facebook of a trucking Facebook group, so I can definitely get you in there okay. as well. So thank you very much, sir. Well, I greatly appreciate it. No doubt. You have a great no rest doubt. Of the day. You too. Now. Thank you. Bye bye. All 
right, there you have it. Story Trucking out of Alabama. They have two locations, the Alabama office and the Tennessee office. Unfortunately, you won't be able to take the trucks home, so the higher end radius will be within that area of Alabama and probably Tennessee because they, you know, give you guys your 34. They pretty much get you home by the weekend. They take care of the trucks and make sure that the truck is ready for you when you get out Monday. Key factors here, no force dispatch. So whenever you want to get out, you can get out whenever you want to get out or whatever the case. If you want the miles, he says the miles are there. So anytime that you want to get the miles, I say the only caveat for me will probably be the the 40 cent a mile, you know, for coming in. Maybe that's different for like new people with, you know, with a year or or less experience or anything like that. Make sure you find out because if you come in with like five years or more, you definitely gonna you definitely gonna try and generate more than 40 cent, I hope. All right. Story. What do you guys think? If you drive, if you guys drive for story, let me know in the comments below how they treat you. Sound like a family, small family owned company with about a hundred or so trucks. And, uh, and they keep you moving. They keep you moving. All right. So let me know what you think about the call. Uh, if you guys want to get your suggestions in, make sure you do that. And we will try to get it going for the next one. <laughs>